Dear Mr. Chairman, Secretary General of ITU, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, it's my great pleasure and honor to be here on a plenipotentiary conference of ITU. And on behalf of the government of Georgia, I would like to express our gratitude and appreciation to the government of United Arab Emirates for the warm welcome and for the excellent organization of this important conference. Highly developed ICTs are strong tools for building the information society and for development of the digital economy. Considering the fact that usage of the ICTs and the internet became an inseparable part of our everyday life. It is very imp important to promote the broadband development, network development to bridge the digital divide between rural and urban areas on one hand and between the regions worldwide on another. In order to overcome a digital divide, uh, in the country. In 2016, the government of Georgia approved the state program on broadband infrastructure development in Georgia, which aims to build the fiber optic infrastructure, establish the open access points, and extend the fiber optic um, backbone in areas which are unprofitable for the uh, private sector and businesses, and they are not planning to invest in. On another hand, the government of Georgia supports the development of the community networks, uh, as a result of the close cooperation with the all interested parties like non-governmental organizations, international organizations, donor organizations, uh, one of the mountainous regions of Tusheti was covered by the high-speed internet. And second similar project is ongoing. This project was recognized as a very good example of the PPP. Notably, one of the biggest challenges for the government of Georgia is the strengthening of the transit faction of the country usage by uh, its uh, like very uh, huge, uh, huge speed the fiber optic backbones linking Georgia to the neighboring as well as to the European and Asian countries. This will help uh, tremendously with overcoming the existing digital divide with, between the regions and achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Due to the several legislative changes um, related to the technological neutralities, Georgian mobile operators were given the opportunity to um, uh, develop their 4G services, and they, accordingly to the end of this 2017, 99% 99.7% uh, of Georgia's territory was covered by 4G and 99.9% .9 by 3G internet. In recent years, the government of Georgia has conducted successful reforms to develop a knowledge-based and innovation-driven economy. To this end, the government of Georgia initiated training programs for the ICT specialists. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, I would like to draw your attention to the regretful fact that violation of the fundamental norms and principles of the international law continues in the 21st century. As a result, the government of Georgia don't have an uh, possibility to exercise its legitimate jurisdiction over the entire, entire territory of Georgia within its internationally recognized borders. In inseparable parts of Georgia, Abkhazia and South Ossetia, Trinwali region, which are occupied. The international community must stand together and must stand strong to support the principles of a sovereign equality of the states and must follow the international norms. In conclusion, I would like to thank entire ITU team for the perfect work performed and wish you all all successes in your activities. Thank you.